Okay, we're gonna pair wine with some food. We've been cooking all afternoon for this meal. Uh, we cooked some Salisbury steak, some mac and cheese, and of course, the classic mashed potatoes. And I'm telling you, we dove right into this and this is the best ever. Now, of course, we did have Mrs. Banquet join us. Uh, she cooked all the foods for us, uh, including the mashed potatoes as well. Oh, yes. Now, key is, is sauce. We have a light gravy sauce on our Salisbury steak, and we've got mashed potatoes with no gravy, just straight uh, butter. So I chose the Hopwood Cabinet. It's a dry Riesling with some grapefruit notes, citrus tones, a nice flint finish. Uh, very, very pleasant, and we're going to go heavy on the mashed potatoes. So again, what you want to do, as I told you in the last episode, is you want to pair the wines in the mouth, not uh, not using the wine as a wash. You don't eat the mashed potatoes and then pair with the uh, and then swallow it with the wine there. So, mm, before you got it in the mouth. Mm. Now I know that sounds gross to put it both in the mouth at the same time, but that's where you find the marriage there. Oh gosh. Okay. Oh, that's a wonderful combination there. Oh, I'm getting some very earthy tones. I get actually grassy notes. The mashed potatoes calm down the grapefruit, the citrus tones that kind of kind of mellowed out. And then I picked up a little bit of the the grassy notes, the earthy tones. And wow, what a what a great bearing there. Oh, I tell you what. Stay tuned. We're gonna do the Salisbury steak next.